This morning I'm going to make an attempt to go down um, down the hill into the wilderness area to a place called Mill Flat Campground. It's about four miles, six miles, somewhere in there. It's an unimproved road. I figured this would be a great opportunity. You know, I don't have much to do right now to take my bike and, and go down there. Um, I think there are some farms along the way, so I think the road will be in somewhat good condition, but still I have no idea what I'm going to run into, or if the road is even closed. Uh, the ranger up the hill said that um, he thought maybe the campground down below was closed for the season, uh, partially probably due to the fires, um, so I'm not really sure if I'll even be able to make it down there. So let's uh, take a journey and let's see what we can find. Okay, just left the camp. Had to wait for some cows to get out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to head over. There should be a junction clearly marked down the hill a little ways here. Um, and from that point, I should be turning downhill into the canyon. Like I said, it should be about four to six miles. Not really sure. I got my GPS tracker on, so I'll be able to have a detailed map of this journey later if I survive. I'm a little worried about breaking down out there or crashing, so I'm just going to take it easy because I'm not really sure how many people go out there or if the road's even open. Okay, this is the intersection. Looks like there's a couple of people just hanging. Saw this car in a truck just a little ways up the road. I think people like to come up here and just hang out. I think they party up here quite a bit. Okay. No OHVs beyond this point. Not really sure what that means. Warning. Travel beyond this point, not recommended. Low clearance. High clearance vehicles only. Okay, let's see what's down there. Not sure how far I'll make it. Interesting. It's like an old house burned down. So, I don't know. It may be only about three miles down the road and I found this old burned out um, homestead or farm. don't know what it was. It's pretty cool. It's interesting to see people used to live here and I don't know why they don't anymore, but it's interesting to see the history. Oh, the gate's open. That's a good sign.
road seems to be in much better condition here. That's cool. Okay, it's a super ruddy section. Okay, well, I don't think I'm getting past this. I don't know. I don't have a saw. If those branches were taken off there, maybe I could go underneath it, but. And it looks like a cliff on that side, so it looks like I gotta turn around. Well, I made it almost eight miles down the hill. I was probably pretty close to being finished. Darn it. Okay, just had to go through a really gnarly section. It was a washout, some big boulders and broken branches. And wow, I just basically gassed it through. It was only about 20 yards wide. Or long, I should say. That was brutal. Okay, I made it through the bottom gate and there's a couple of areas for cattle that were designated with fences and so now the road seems to be much, much nicer. So I'm able to pick up my pace a little bit. Still some hairpin turns I gotta watch out for. Yeah, it's really nice now. trailer. Okay, I'm getting them down towards the bottom now. I mean, you can see the creek clearly right here. Obviously, there's no water in it right now. I think the main tributary, though, does have water. I do see uh, pools of water every now and then. But this road is quite nice. Been able to hit, go pretty much in third gear the whole way. flat campground made it okay I'm not gonna keep going I don't know how far this road goes uh, this dirt road but I'm not really gonna trek down it but this is the river and you can see there's a lot of water in it that's nice there's a little rapids right here and all the way up. 
super clear. You can see all the way to the bottom. I don't know if the camera can pick that out. But on the other side is the road that heads back down into the valley. And I believe there's a bridge somewhere over here where you can cross over. I'll probably go check that out on the bike before I head back up, up the mountain. Yeah, this is beautiful. If I had my uh, fishing license, you can go fishing here. And I think a lot of people go swimming here as well. Okay, well, besides outhouses, picnic tables, fire pits, um, that's all that's down here, really. I don't know how to get to that road that leads across the river. I don't see the way out. There's the river. Hmm. Well, maybe it's for another day to explore. Let's head on back up. To the top. Now I just got to make it back to camp. That was a fun ride. It was, uh, I was able to open it up a lot more going uphill, feeling a little bit more comfortable, uh, learning a little bit how to control the bike on loose gravel and boulders and all kinds of, all kinds of different terrain. Almost lost it a few times, but luckily I pulled it off. So I didn't drop the bike, but I still have a little bit of ways to go to get home but the rest of it should be pretty tame compared to what that road was. Yeah, really fun. Um, having an ADV uh, motorcycle is brilliant. You could enjoy the street and off-road both. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun. Catch you next time.